Oh, looks like it's winter here. <laughs> it's chilly out. I know folks have been wondering about our next project and what we were going to do after the shed. And it has to do with this area right yeah. here. So let's talk about the deck project. <laughs> yeah, Show people so what's as, going on. Yeah. As you can see, it's falling apart. I mean, falling so, right out. Of course. A couple pieces. That one down there just fell right off the deck. This one, yeah, this one blew <laughs> off in a windstorm. So not very safe right now. Not to code. Yeah. And but, you, you know, you can tell that this was not a permanent solution, right? This was to uh, get us by code. So we, th we threw this up, nailed up some two by sixes, yeah. threw up some hog panel. Right. And um, then these little... <laughs> these little uh, uh, electrical uh, staples for holding your wire in place. You know, that's, that's, they're all breaking. Yeah. So, uh, but it was temporary. Now we are going to use the hog panel in the final process. We're going to, um, put a, a border around it, three quarter inch, uh, angle iron. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to weld the panel right in place. Yeah. Uh, we'll paint it black. We'll weld some, uh, top plates on it so that we can put a railing, attach a railing to it. Okay. And then uh, some side uh, pieces of angle iron so that we can, uh, so it'll be hanging here, then the, then we'll be able to bolt it right to the to the post. So okay. um, so each one will be almost custom because uh, all the, the dimensions aren't quite the same, but um, the two bigger sides will be pretty close together. A little bit more variation on the, the main, the long end, mm -hmm. but... Uh, Definitely a, a little bit of an overdue project, not a super yeah. huge priority, but we can't right. really ignore it any longer. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's just falling apart. Yeah, you know, we're going to cut these logs off as well, peel the bark off, stain everything to match the deck uh, deck boards. Yeah. So we'll have a, a darker color, be more, more in line with the, the trim around the windows, the, the actual window frames. It's a nice dark brown. Oh, yeah. But this is the next big thing. If we could finish the deck railing, that would really set off the house. It will be more secure. Anyway, that's our next project. And uh, we're gonna see if we can get some steps of it started as much as we can. Yeah, we might get some done this weekend. So. Yeah. Okay, let's see how much snow we're gonna get. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, the storm came and went and uh, uh, beautiful day. Beautiful day. Not a whole lot of snow this time. Uh, it was only about five inches, but it's all blown away and we weren't able to get any work done anyway. So right. had to save the project for another weekend. But now we'll break down the steps of how Brian's uh, going to... Yeah, how we're, how we're making the panels. Yeah. So the uh, we've got the hog panel. So we're going to cut it to length, depending on the, the width of each particular section. And then we'll create a frame with this three-quarter inch angle iron. So just weld those together, boom like that, and then inset the hog panel into it like that. See, the panel got a little bit warped being on the deck. It's a little curved. <laughs> So. Yeah, and part of it is just they're, they're coming 16 foot long panels, so mm -hmm. they kind of bend when you're moving them and stuff. So, mm -hmm. um, so once that's welded, we'll weld that into place, and then it uh, should stay nice and straight. And then, uh, and then we'll weld some tabs on. So we need tabs on the ends for mounting to the logs up up on the deck, and then we need flat tabs on the very top so that we can mount the railing on top because it's clearly you can't mount a you know big railing on top there's no way to it would stay so we'll put like a three inch tab across here weld that on and we can screw right through that right into the into the, the railing itself you had bought this uh angle iron i bought six foot lengths and four foot lengths okay so six, six foot lengths i cut down uh, and then the, and then the, each panel is going to be three feet high. So the six footers I cut in half mm -hmm. for the, the width here. And then, uh, then the four footers will, will be for the, the long side of the deck. Cause that's, they're no more than, they're less than four feet long. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, then this forearm. So there'll be some trimming there. So okay, welding. Welding, <laughs> exactly. All right. So and what we have yeah. here. So we've got a new welder. Okay, this was from Vivor Company. They sent in. It's a three-in-one. Three-in-one, right? So previously had a MIG welder, mm -hmm. um, but this does MIG, TIG, and stick welding. So we get all three. And it's parked here because that outlet on the house is where you have the... That's our uh, 50 amp or 60 amp breaker or okay. 50 amp outlet. And I know, you know, it makes sparks. It's a little risky with some of that mulch down there, but being yeah. midwinter practically, you know, it's freezing out, yeah. snow all around, not too much of a risk for fire exactly. doing it outside. I'm not worried about it. And you've got your setup here on some saw horses and the... Uh, well, this is some cement board cement for board. for you know doing this bathroom. <laughs> yeah. So does does it won't catch on fire. Okay. Be nice if a big slab welding table, right? Yeah. That'd be expensive. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's take a closer look at this welder and see yeah, uh, yeah, what the features so. are. Nice blue color. Yeah. So. So your cord. So okay. it, must it must be standard because it fit in my outlet. Mm-hmm. And then uh, just on the back real quick, the one gas port. I believe that is for uh, when you're MIG welding. Yep. So, and then, because the TIG welder, the, the handle itself has a hose on it. So you hit, hook directly to your tank through that. But the, uh, the gas for the MIG goes in there. And then it comes right through nozzle here. So then there's a screw on shield the shield is what screws on and helps protect, um, focus the gas uh, where you're welding. So it comes out right around that area there. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I don't have any gas, so I'm just kind of I'm using it without. I have flux core wire instead. Okay. So, but eventually I'll get some gas. So when this is when we're using the the MIG welder, we connect this to the negative side. Uh, right now, or the positive side. Right now, the the stick welder is attached there, so it'll be here. So for your stick welding, just like that. So, so you don't have to be a professional to be able to use this unit. You're saying? No, I started using it immediately. Okay. So I have done a little bit of welding before, but you know, not nearly what other people have done. So. Yeah. And this project's requiring a lot of welding. I see. It does. Yeah. So between getting these uh, every, all the panels situated yeah it'll be a a bigger welding project that i've than i've ever done before so mm -hmm. uh, and then all the controls so I, and i'm not super familiar with all of them uh this one is a uh, wire feed for the mig welder okay and then your voltage and then i believe this is for the stick welder and then here's a switch the switch from a uh, stick to tig to mig so mm, okay. this button is a wire feed. So when you're when you're uh, putting your wire in for the MIG, there it is. There. Cool. So that was very easy to set up. It you can use the smaller spools or the big larger spools with it, either way. Um, and then here's the adjustment for tension, and you just slide it in there. It work. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have any problem. So. Um, but so when you when you first initially put in your wire in, you can use this feed button to feed the wire uh, through the MIG gun okay. or the MIG handle. So which worked out pretty good. So cool. And of course, with a stick, you don't need any of that. You just put the stick on there, and, <laughs> and so. it's a pretty lightweight unit. You were saying it is compared to the other one I have. It's way lighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is still a metal container. Like yeah. Metal case. Yeah. So I thought. When I first picked it up, like, oh, it's a plastic case. Well, it's not a plastic case, but yeah, it's got a weight, half yeah. of the weight. Yeah. So. Nice. So it's very portable then. Very portable. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. semi-intuitive to use if you've done a little bit of welding before. Right. And there's some other tutorials on, you know, you can get all kinds of welding tutorials on YouTube. So. So yeah, we'll have uh, some links in the video description for you guys if you want to check out the Viver Mig 200D3. Delta yep. 3. MIG TIG stick welder from Vivor. So you had a chance to put a little bit of it into action. We'll take a look at some of that footage of you yep. uh, yeah. getting some practice runs done.
And I'm grinding over the, the sharp edges. Uh, the angle iron's got a little bit of a radius on the inside, so I want to make sure that the, it sits in there as close as possible. More measuring here, Just make cutting things to length. Because those were the six foot pieces of angle iron that you bought, so you're... Right, right, so they need to be three footers. Mm -hmm. so some of them need to be 56 inches for the length of it, and then the height on everything is three feet. Two at once? Yeah, two at once. Hey! Make quick work of it. <laughs> Save a step. <laughs> So laying it all out. Yeah, so this is kind of the first attempt at it. Uh, oh, wanna... your, your very first piece? Right, so I, I kind of changed my routine a little bit later on. All right. Looks like it's a little floppy. You're having to clamp it down into place yeah. <laughs> a few different spots. Yeah, that's why uh, in the future I, I welded the angle iron well, I welded one corner first. Oh, okay. As a, instead of trying to piece it all together and weld it all together at the same time. Oh. And here's I'm using the uh, MIG welder. So you started with a MIG welder first? Right, yeah. I thought it's easy, it would be easier because, you know, you're not constantly changing out the wire. But my, uh, you can see there's a lot of splatter. Oh, that's what's going on? Yeah. I'm, I don't, like I said, I don't really know this a great technique for it. I didn't know that you could MIG weld without the gas. Yeah, so if you use a flux core wire, which I have there, uh -huh. you can do it without the gas. Okay. But it probably is better with the gas. Smoother? Yeah. Hmm. So it will... Someone can chime in. They can yeah. say what the benefit of using gas with the MIG welder is. Yeah, yeah. Got Just give me some schooling. <laughs> so you're cleaning <laughs> your corners in between as you go. Looks like. Yeah, just trying to get rid of some of that, that waste material. I guess. How'd you feel about the length of the hose and all of that? You feel like you had enough room? Uh, I think the Meg, MIG one was is nice and long. Mm -hmm. I think the uh, stick welder could be a little bit longer. Oh, they're not the same length? No. Okay. Cool. But I do like the flexibility. So it's, it's, it's more it's supple mm -hmm. than the other one I have. Mm-hmm. All right. So this is this is where I did it. I switched the routine a little bit. So, and here I'm using the stick welder. Did you just want to try it out, or did you feel like you weren't getting the uh, results you wanted with? Uh, it? I wanted to try it out, and then I realized I was getting better results. So okay. I, I've been sticking with it. Yeah. No, but here I'm I'm uh, putting together the angle iron first, and then I lay in the the wire hog panel. Okay. Hmm. Well, it's a lot of sparks, that's for sure. Making a nice design on your little hard, yeah. hard cement board yeah. table. But how long does it take you to do an entire panel? Uh, 30 minutes, maybe. Okay. And here I'm just kind of tacking those wires to the angle iron. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, it's a cool project that you can do yourself because I bet if you outsourced it, it would be a lot yes, more. <laughs> yes. It might not be perfect, but it, it'll look nice when it's done. And uh, yeah, it definitely would have been way more expensive. Well, that's what's cool about being able to paint it afterwards. It's not like these are going to be on display so much as far as the welds. Right. You know, it's all going to be sandwiched in between wood and painted black. So from a yeah. distance where you're going to be noticing it. Right. It'll look great. Yeah. So, but still a little bit more work to do. Yep. Okay. All right, so Brian's gonna be bringing out a finished panel. We'll take a closer look at it, take a look at some of the welds, but see how it's gonna be coming together and how it's gonna look up on the deck. All right. So this one uh, was the stick welder I used. I, I found the stick just because my, it, Lack of experience, the stick welder seemed to do better for me as far as laying down and connecting things. So. So you could do either. You could do stick or MIG to right. be able to assemble this. Oh, yeah. Yep, okay. for sure. Not perfect, but again, no expert. Yeah. So 
So it's like so you make you made a frame of it and then you're laying the the grid down inside the frame. Right, right. Okay. So initially I, I used my square and then I set the the square of the, the angle iron, welded that together, uh -huh. then I started laying in the grid. Uh, and then I attached the other side and then the end. Okay. And then I would go along and weld, you know, every other wire to the uh, to the angle iron. Okay. So it would it'll be nice and secure all the way around, and then even here. So and then the the last thing to finish it would be to put the tabs on. Right. So so I use a wire brush on a drill to kind of get all this corrode the stuff off. You know, <laughs> on the top will be some tabs, okay. so three inch. Probably on this one, we'll have three of them. Okay. And then over here will be a, a tab that sticks out with an angle on it so that you can bolt it right to the log. Okay. The post. I so, see. Because yeah. I'm looking up right now at the, at there, the, the big yeah. hole, the empty hole. So those two by sixes are going to go away right. completely. And then the finished panel in its place. Right. Okay, cool. And I'll be painted black. We'll... Yeah. Once I get all the, the junk off of it, scraped off, then we'll uh, we'll put some primer on it, spray some primer in there so it gets all in the nooks and crannies. Yeah. And then paint everything black. Yeah. And then uh, it'll look good. Cool. Pretty big project. <laughs> yeah. You've already made a few, right? I've made four so far. And how many so. total do you need? Eight. Eight. Okay. So. so two for each side and then four along the the main, main side of the deck. One more big project, but not quite as big as the shed. No, not nearly. <laughs> uh, it's just weather dependent. Can't really do right. it on a snowy day. Can't really do it on a freezing cold day. Who would want to? Uh, not me. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then we stain all the logs and stuff, and yeah. it'll, it'll really add a finishing touch to the house because it does look a bit unfinished when you're driving up, so. Yeah, and then maybe we'll get to that project. Then we'll get to that project. <laughs> I do want to make these doors a little higher. I think we're going to put a uh, water softener in here. This is a heated area, a heated space. So yeah, we'll put the maybe the water softener on the side and our pressure washer that we could use all the time. We could mount that on the side as well. And yeah, so. it's a good it's a good little home for mice right now. And <laughs> if the weather holds out, this could be the next project. But finish the deck the deck railing first, and then. See if we get to this guy. Yeah, we'll get to you. All right, guys. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thanks for All joining. Right, bye. All right, bye bye.